We are at the wheelchair clinic and finally getting my wheelchair demo after what three years almost. Oh yeah, easily. This is oh I have had a wheelchair demo, but this is like for the other base. Yeah. Long story, we'll explain probably later on, but yeah. Exciting Bye. times. Exciting. Yeah. yeah. We'll see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> Too early. Isn't it? uh, this is very early in the morning. Well, for us. <laughs> it's 11 o'clock, but we've had an early start. Yeah. So, so yeah. let us see what happens. We'll report back soon. So, potential. We're really just trying the base. Yeah, it's, it's more for the, the actual base of the chair than it is the... Like ignore the look of the chair. Yeah, the top part, yeah. Everything else is not going to be what it look like. Give it a go. There you go. Um, so we're doing a little van test with this chair to see if it fits. And it seems like it fits. Woohoo! Good stuff. So yeah, we ramp test and it seems like it's worked. Come on out. I've got you. Okay. Oh, you're grounding. Are we go over Yeah. Seems like a really nice smooth ride. It's got the chunkier wheels. Yeah. Is it? It's, um, the last time we were here, it was summertime and it was lovely and warm. Yeah, we had the red. When we were outside and now we're here and it's freezing. <laughs> I'll get you from here. Well, it's good. Feel good. Do you want to go down here? Or down here. So we test run over and we'll head back in. It's freezing. It's freezing. I literally am struggling to drive now. Is that cold? Yeah. yeah. Let's go inside. Let's go back in. So we had to stop at IKEA, didn't no. we? We were at the wheelchair clinic appointment and we couldn't find anything that would fit our wheelchair. Yeah. So we had to stop at IKEA. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yeah. Being antisocial. They wanted the veggie bowls and chips, but they ended up with plant bowls and mash and gravy, which is all vegan apparently. So. Yeah. So yeah, we I might. Know there's like stock issues or running out of everything, so. Might have a nip around this place. And then, don't know, maybe go over to Sainsbury's for something and then head back home. What are you saying? Huh? Hello. See? What are you saying? What is it? You're a good girl. Well, See? She's gonna get your eye. You want your dinner? See? Hello. We're back home now after the wheelchair clinic. And I think we had a pretty successful day. Long, yeah. long, it was a long day, a long appointment. Weird day. But um, it is seen we went nipped into Ikea after the appointment for lunch because it was quite late. Um, and then we took advantage of the shop actually being, the store being private, Carlo. Uh, okay. <laughs> Don't know if you can get us in. <laughs> Do you want to be part of this? <laughs> Hello. Okay. Um, yeah, Ikea was really quite quiet today, so we took advantage and just went round the bottom part and yeah. we managed to get a duvet cover. Oh, yeah. she's trying to back the one. A qua <laughs> a, quite a good quality one, actually, for the price it was. Like, I've seen a king size cover usually about like £50, but this was weird. So we it was like, like um, £19, it was super soft. Or like, is there a price um, in this print and level? Yeah. We don't care, really. Yeah, there was a cool lamp as well, and everyone seemed to want it past it, but it was sold out. Hence, everyone seemed to want it. That was really, really nice. But anyway. Anyways, um, yeah. That's all we got, literally, just a bed cover. It was quick. Quick we was around. But yeah, wheelchair clinic was good. I got to try the wheelchair that we've sort of been looking at for the past, what? Mm, years. Well, year. uh, this process has been going on for like nearly three years, I think, from when I first got assessed to get a new wheelchair. Mm -hmm. And obviously, you know, the world kind of came to a halt uh, with different things. So that got kind of delayed and then we started looking, not, we didn't start looking again, but we started attending the wheelchair clinic again. Um, there, was just, there was so many um, things to consider, obviously, when you get a new chair. And yeah. then there's all the different models, well, the lack of choice, actually, with the wheelchair clinic. Yeah. So the it kind of comes down to the best of the options they have. Yeah. Um, I can't remember if it was sort of the beginning of this year we, we pinpointed this particular chair, the Aviva RX40. Yeah. And then I finally demoed it in the summertime, but it was the wide base model, yeah. so we felt like it was just too, it was too wide for, for me. It wouldn't go in the car. It no. wouldn't go in our, our car either, yeah, in the van. So we requested to get the narrow base wheelchair to try out. That came... We came, was it two weeks ago, yeah. to the house, the engineer, bioengineer brought it out to us and it was actually the wide base again. We didn't bring the narrow base, so we finally we managed to track down a narrow base that I could try today actually at the wheelchair clinic. Everything was on well, it sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything was on it, but the back crest wasn't for you. It was like set up for sort of probably a bigger person, taller and everything. Yeah, basically it's like a an assessment wheelchair that Standard. I got to try, so it wasn't it wasn't the most prettiest chair to look yeah. at really. It was very basic. Yeah, it didn't have all the things that I would need. But the engineer managed to she managed to like sort of tighten things up and move things and yeah. shift it all 
into your body shape. Yeah, because so we had to like readjust the foot plates. So I had to bring them up because they're too uh, long. Change the control or change, change the armrest. The armrest, the back Prop your rest. back up. Like, so everything did need changed. So I still, although it was better for me, it still wasn't. What it's going to be. Yeah, it wasn't what it was going to be like for when I get the chair or if I get this chair. And the other part, it's like kind of like um, if you were a person going to buy a car. Mm. And you, the guy in the showroom says, you can have this one, but it's not going to have the wheels, it won't have that steering wheel, it won't have that colour, it won't have the windows, it won't have the seats. Yeah. But just try and imagine you're driving yeah. the car, do you want to buy it? And you kind of have to go, well, I'll have it, yeah, without even really trying what mm. you're going to end up with. I know. To a degree. Yeah. To a degree, but to a degree not. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of frustrating, but this is just the way they do it, so... You can't build a chair for them and then go, do you want it? And then she says no. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it's it's quite difficult to really get a feel for what it's going to be like. Although we were there for a couple of hours, it still wasn't, yeah. Enough time to drive in. Enough time mm -hmm. to really, like, get comfortable in it and know how I'm going to be able to drive it. Because the, also the controller wasn't set up that well for me, so I did feel like... It didn't drive as smooth as obviously my own chair does. Plus the, the setting of uh, the that control of the the actual control. She said something about the kind of the controller itself and the kind of going from fast to like a, a stop oh, was, yeah. was a kind of jerky. So she said you can alter all, all, yeah, all of that. That so. will get changed for me. I think in like also the chair I've got the now. I don't ever remember the settings getting changed. I no. think I just got given the controller that I've it's got. Just the type of chairs there. But she said with this new chair, we can actually adjust the sensitivity of it mm -hmm. so that it won't be jerking. Kind of, I won't be jerking every time I go to move. Um, because I found that quite off-putting, and yeah, I felt like I was constantly getting thrown forward. Yeah. So yeah, that was that was all good. I think we're getting closer to actually finalising it and yeah. making like a proper decision it's all going to get costed yeah of course you're getting the riser you might have to add, add to that cost yeah not might i am because i'm wanting to get the riser function which is crucial that's seen <laughs> as a, a luxury item which is wrong <laughs> so i'm going to have to pay for that myself so yeah the, we need to total up everything that i'm going to need on the wheelchair uh, They'll, they'll tell me how much my personal contribution will need to be, how much it's going to cost, um, like the wheelchair services, the NHS. And they basically decide, it goes to management, and they decide whether they're, to do it or not. they're going to pay for it, basically. So yeah, it's still like, it's a big question mark whether this is going to be the chair that I'm going to get. But it's looking, Good, it's yeah. looking positive. It is really quite different. It's cool, yeah. You can the pick the colour you want, like we said, and it's yeah. quite a cool shape, like the front, the way they kind of arm, the kind of, I don't know what you call them, the kind of struts that kind of like hold the front wheels and hold the whole kind of chair together. Mm -hmm. They kind of like kick out rather than just stand up. I don't know, it just looks yeah. quite cool. Yeah. So we'll see. I've it's never a... had an Invacare wheelchair before, I've always had like a quickie. So, yeah, it's different for me. So I'm really. I'm nervous about it, but I've came away feeling a little bit more kind of positive and confident about it because the bio engineer said that lots can be adjusted, adjusted tweaked, you know, you to, don't like the to back. whatever yeah. I need. So that's making me feel a little bit more comfortable about it. But it's still a big, big, big change. I've had my chair for like 11 years. Chairs like an antique oh, and put in the, I think the Glasgow Transport Museum. We even asked today what happens to my old chair and she said, well, because it's so old, it gets crushed. Basically, <laughs> it, you can keep it if you want it as like a souvenir. <laughs> so yeah. Rude. Well, I'm going to hold on to it for a little while, just until I'm comfortable with my new chair. Because if I need things changed on that, mm. I might not be able to use it for, you know, for a little while until it's definitely right. So I would rather have my old chair. So we'll see. Just in case. Yeah. That was our outing today. Was, yes. It was a long... Every time we go to the wheelchair clinic, it's a long 
long process, isn't it? Oh yeah, back and forth. She was actually running late for our next patient after us yeah. for lunch. Yeah. So that was it. That was our day. So join us in the next episode when we're there again and Emma has her chair. Oh. I, d- I don't think this is going to be a quick thing anyway. Like a couple we, of months. We yeah. did say, we did, we did ask her like how long this would be. And mm. Yeah, it's not going to be anytime soon, I don't think. Yeah. So watch this space. Yes. I have got a blog post all about like my thoughts about getting a new, new wheelchair. If you want to read that. I'll, uh, it's employment.co.uk. I'll put it in the description box. <laughs> and we'll see you next time. Yes. See you later. Bye.